Hi, this video is going to go over how to transform utility data into a usable format. This is for the Energy 142 class. So this is some typical um, interval utility data. So it's set up um, in the following way. You can see the date is on the left hand side. And then the hour of the day, and actually it's in fi this, this data is in 15 minute intervals, is set up like this. This is indicative of what you might get from um, a utility company for, for interval data. Um, and, and this is how they sort of set it up. There's three things that um, are, are set up here. There's kilowatt hours, power factor, and kilowatt hours. Um, and those, those are the three things you get for each, for each measurement. Um, in this video, I'm really, we're really only going to um, worry about kilowatt hours. Um, but you could also do the same exact method for power factor and kilowatt hours. So I have sort of a, um, a template started here for all the things we're going to need to do um, in order to get this data. So um, the number of 15 minute intervals is um, basically in, in one day what 15 minute interval we're at. So the first 15 minutes of the day will be one, the second 15 minutes will be two, and then it'll go all the way up to uh, 96 um, because that's how many 15 minute intervals there are in a day and then it'll start back over at one because the day will change then the day of the year is going to be how many days from the start of the year so um, the first day will be one and the last day will be 365 and then the date the time the month the day of the week and the kilowatt hours used and these things will become apparent why we're doing all these things um, throughout this video and throughout the video series on hourly data So let's start by figuring out how long this data stream is going to be. So basically what we're going to have is we're going to have kilowatt hours used for every 15 minute interval for a full year. So the first thing we have to figure out is how many 15 minute intervals are there in a whole year. And we just can use Excel over here as a little scratch pad to, to do that calculation. If we think about it, we know that there's, um, like I said before, there's 96 15 minute intervals in a day, and then there's 365 days in a year. So really, we should have 35,040 15 minute intervals. So what, since we've used up the first two um, rows as header rows, we should be at, the last row we should be at is 35,042. So let's just go down to that row so that way it's easier to manipulate all this data. So if we go to find and select and go to, we're gonna go to A, 35,042 hit OK. And let's just put a placeholder in here. So that way um, we'll, we can go back down to that row easily. And then, and then we'll go all the way back to the top and then we'll split our pane so that way we have the very top data and then the very bottom data here. And now let's start with the 15 minute intervals. Let's first get rid of our little calculation here. Let's start with the 15 minute intervals. So the 15 minute intervals like I said are going to go from 1 to 96. So let's just go 1 and then let's, the next one's going to equal this plus 1. And then we'll fill that in until we get to 96. So again, it's going to be 98 since we have two header rows. And then we just basically want that to repeat every single day of the year. So go up here and equal the first one. And if we fill that into the bottom by hitting Control-C to copy, and then shift to select all the rest of the rows and then control V to paste. You can see we're going to get 1 to 96 repeating all the way down. So that's going to be our number of 15 minute intervals. Now let's do the day of the year. The day of the year is similar except the first day goes all the way down to row 98. So let's drag that down. And then the second day is just equals the first set of that plus 1. And then now we can use our little trick that we can double click on this to fill in. Since we already have the one um, column filled in all the way down. You can see it leads to 365 days in a year. The date, um, we first need to start with our starting date, which if we look from the raw data is 1-1-2011. So we can do um, that equal 0-1-0-1-2011. Um, and then we can drag that down to 98. 
Now, the weird part, this is going to happen about a date. It's going to add one no matter what when we drag down our date. So what we want to do is not fill series. We want to copy cells. So now it's all one, one. So now, just like we did before, what Excel does, with, which is nice with uh, dates, is that if you just add one to a date, it adds a day to it, which is exactly what we want to do. And then if we copy that down, that's going to end the year at 1231, which is great. So all of this is working out nicely so far. All right, so now let's continue. Let's go on the, the next column. Time, we could type in all the 15-minute intervals, but an easier way to do that is it's already sort of typed out for us over here. So what we can do is go ahead and highlight this first row. Those are all the 15-minute intervals. These is all the time. You can see it goes from 0, 015 to 24 hours. So go ahead and copy that. Now what's weird about it is this this is a row vector, a row array, or row, um, and we want it to be columns. So what we'll do is when we paste, we're going to paste a special way. So we do, click the drop-down box here, and we're going to paste transpose, which is this. And you can see it sort of shows us what it's going to do um, when we do transpose. And then just like we did before, the 99th um, entry is going to equal the first entry. And then we double click to drag that all the way down. Now, the month, we just use our month formula that Excel has. So month here. So we can display that there. And then the day of the week, we can use our, um, what, what we can use the date and just do that. And then what we're going to do is display it as a day of the week. So how we're going to do that is go up here, go to more number formats, go to custom, and then day of the week, the type is just four Ds. And you can see if you do it correctly, then you get that. Or three Ds will give you the short day of the week. Kilowatt hours used, I'm going to leave to the next video.